Ram Swarup Sanskrit, Rama Swarupa 1920 to 26 December 1998, born Ram Swarup Agarwal, was an Indian author and one of the most important thought leaders of the Hindu revivalist movement. Topic Life. Ram Swarup Agarwal was born in 1920 to a banker father in Sonipat, Haryana. He graduated in economics at Delhi University in 1941. He participated in the Indian Freedom Movement, and helped freedom fighters like Aruna Asaf Ali. He started the Changers Club in 1944. Its members included L. C. Jain, Raj Krishna, Gurulal Jain and historian Sita Ram Gol. In 1948–49, he worked for Mahatma Gandhi's disciple Mira Ben Madeline Slade. Swaroop worked for the DRS, where he wrote a book on the Communist Party that was published under an assumed name. In 1949, he founded the Society for the Defense of Freedom in Asia. The Society published books, reviewed in the West, that criticized both the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet mouthpiece Izvestia as well as Pravda, another mouthpiece for that same foreign power's Communist Party. The Society for the Defense of Freedom in Asia ceased operations in 1955. His early book Gandhism and Communism from around this time had some influence among American policymakers and members of Congress. Swaroop has written for mainstream Indian weeklies and dailies, like The Telegraph, Times of India, Indian Express, Observer of Business and Politics, Hindustan Times, and Hinduism Today. In 1982, he founded the non profit publishing house Voice of India, which published works by Harsh Narain, A.K. Chatterjee, K.S. Lal, Konrad Elst, Rajendra Singh, San R.S. Nirala, and Srikant Talajari, among others. American author David Frawley writes that. While Voice of India had a controversial reputation, I found nothing irrational, much less extreme about their ideas or publications. Their criticisms of Islam were on par with the criticisms of the Catholic Church and of Christianity done by such Western thinkers as Voltaire or Thomas Jefferson. In fact they went far beyond such mere rational or historical criticisms of other religions and brought in a profound spiritual and yogic view as well. Views His early works took a critical stance on communism. Swaroop's works on communism were reviewed and praised in the West and in India by people like Bertrand Russell, Arthur Kosler, Sri Aurobindo, Ashoka Mehta, Sardar Patel, Suzanne Laban and Philip Spratt. The British philosopher Bertrand Russell praised his book Russian Imperialism, How to Stop It as excellent. Some of his early influences were Aldous Huxley and George Bernard Shaw. Ram Swaroop's book The Word is Revelation, Names of Gods on Polytheism was published in 1980 and was reviewed by Dr. Sasir Kumar Maitra in The Times of India. His books were also reviewed favorably by M. P. Pandit and C. Rajagopalachari. In his later life, Ram Swaroop used to meditate for many hours. Swaroop was influenced by Sri Aurobindo, whom he held to be the greatest exponent of the Vedic vision in our times. Sita Ram Gol described Swaroop as a person who had no use for any conventional morality or code of manners and could see clearly how they were mostly used to put the other fellow in the wrong. Ram Swaroop was most responsible for reviving and repopularizing the Hindu critique of Christian missionary practices in the 1980s. He insisted that monotheistic religions like Christianity nurtured among their adherents a lack of respect for other religions. In the 1980s, Ram Swaroop and S.R. Gol were involved in a vigorous debate with the Christian ashram movement represented by Bede Griffiths. Swaroop has been named one of the most important thought leaders of the Hindu revivalist movement, and the most important Hindu philosopher of independent India's first half century. David Frawley wrote that he is probably the most important and cogent writer on Hinduism in the last half of the 20th century." The Prime Minister of India, Adil Bihari Vajpayee, spoke of him as a representative of India's Rishi tradition in the modern age. Arun Shaori called him one of the deepest thinkers he has come across, whose work is foundational. <laughs> European paganism 
Ram Swaroop also had an interest in European neopaganism, and corresponded with Prudence Jones chairperson of Pagan Federation and the pagan author Gurin Christin Magnusdottir. Under the influence of Ram Swaroop, other Hindu revivalists also took an interest in European paganism. Christopher Gerard, editor of Anteos, Society for Polytheistic Studies, said, Ram Swaroop was the perfect link between Hindu Renaissance and Renaissance paganism in the West and elsewhere. Swaroop has also advocated a pagan renaissance in Europe. According to Swaroop, Europe became sick because it tore apart from its own heritage, it had to deny its very roots. If Europe is to be healed spiritually, it must recover its spiritual past—at least, it should not hold it in such dishonor." He argued that the European pagans should compile a directory of pagan temples destroyed, pagan groves and sacred spots desecrated. European pagans should also revive some of these sites as their places of pilgrimage. 